I'm Auntie Fong. I'm always very excited when you all want to interview me. Eh. How come nowadays you all interview me so many times? Hmm? What do you want to ask me today? E-waste. Ah. What's e-waste? I don't know. Eh. E-waste. Oh, emails la. All the emails that are wasteful ones, like uh, the spam mails. Oh. So you email already, then uh, so wasteful, I don't read. Then I just delete it, ah, like that. Oh, goes to, into the recycling bin of the the email, right? Ah, like that, e-waste recycle. Correct or not? Huh? E-waste is a uh, wasteful emails. Hmm. Cycling is really a very good form of exercise. It makes me perspire a lot, but it also brings me everywhere in Singapore. I don't need to wait for buses or MRTs, or I don't need to call for Grab. Very good, right? Yes. So what is e-waste? E-waste means instead of using bicycles, you use e-scooters or electric bikes. Like that, not only do you waste electricity, you also don't get to do so much exercise. So just use the good old bicycle and pedal, 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 just like active life. Okay, how do I look? What's your question? E-waste? What did Auntie Fong say? Emails? Spams? <gasps> Active line? E-scooter? E-bikes? Oh, I cannot imagine how people who are the same age group as me are so ignorant. They don't know what e-waste is. Oh my goodness, E, yeah, it stands for electronic. E waste means electronic waste. What kinds of electronic wastes are there? Computers, old desktops, old laptops, old accessories and peripherals like keyboards, mouse, not the mouse that runs around, the mouse that you use when you use computer, the one that you use to control the cursor, hard <sighs> disks, printers, handphones, even cables. Oh, not alkaline batteries, lithium batteries are okay. Okay, these are e-waste. Uh, the professor told me uh, Auntie Fong's and uh, Active Line's answers, actually they are not really wrong. E-bikes and e-scooters, they will also become part of e-ways. Emails and all that, if you email a lot, then you take up a lot of the space in your computers, then you want to upgrade, so you it also triggers some kind of uh, e-waste, don't they? Actually, in a lot of answers and a lot of people's thoughts, there's always some truth in them. So we must always be, have a big heart and open up to what they say. Don't just say that they are wrong like that. So e-waste is everywhere. It has become big part of the problem, especially because of our lifestyle always want to send so many things everywhere and want to be lazy so we must not be like that okay oh now i know what e-waste is so but you must be careful not everything that can be considered e-waste you know you know some of the things that are not you cannot uh, put inside the e-waste recycling bin the hazardous materials like uh, not uh, 
uh, those that will be hazardous uh, will be from the alkaline batteries. You know those A A A A A A A A A A all those A A A batteries. All those you cannot put inside the e-waste recycling bin. They are disposed of differently uh, because they will leak. Uh, leak differently lah. Not like the lithium batteries like that. No, ask me why lah. I also don't know lah. Uh, and also the ink in ink cartridges from printers ah. Uh, all those you cannot. You cannot put inside the e-waste recycling bin. Uh, if you want to um, recycle your e-waste, the printers, you can, uh, but I think better that you take out the, the cartridge. Uh, if not, the ink all, all leak out. Uh, uh, cannot, cannot. Later, become even more harmful. Okay? Do you know that these e-waste were uh, very harmful? To the environment that's why i know because remember my phd is in hydrology so all these e-waste products they have all the um, materials that are used to make them that can leak toxic and then they will go into the soil and go into the ocean and they will pollute the water and uh destroy the marine life that's why i also know about e-waste so it's important that you also deal with e-waste properly and responsibly okay my hair is not nice today man. too flat i think too long already let's go for a haircut okay okay talk to you later go and comb my hair first Because harmful materials are used in the manufa manufacture of computers, laptops, handphones, etc. etc. Some of the harmful materials include lead, cadmium, chromium, brominated flame retardants. All these materials from all these computers and laptops that are just discarded wrongly will just leak into the soil which in turn leak into the ocean, which in turn find their way to our food. So can you imagine us eating all this meow, meow, meow? <sighs> no wonder my hair is dropping. So please, time to recycle our e-waste properly. Oh, I think Professor Tu might have missed out something. Maybe because of her personality lah. Mm, I think she forgot about the precious materials. Did she say about that? Uh, you know, if you buy so many of these uh, computers and all that, uh, not only do you uh, generate a lot of uh, toxic into the environment, you also may uh, you are wasting all the very precious materials like gold, silver, and copper. Do you know how the how you get gold, silver, and copper? They go by mining, you know. They are the natural resources. Eh? Wow! Suddenly, I am very knowledgeable eh? because I care about the children. You know, in some countries, they use child labor to go and into gold mining or silver mining or copper mining. So, they use a lot of child labor. So, if you buy less of all these products, there will be less of this happening to the children. Also, all the toxic leakages, people who go to the dumping grounds to search for all these materials may also be all the children, you know, from the impoverished countries. And then they will they will get uh, contact, they will be uh, exposed to all these toxic. And then, you know, children are very vulnerable. So... I know sometimes we are very tempted to upgrade, upgrade, right? But we must think of also the children, you know. Don't waste all the gold, copper, silver, all the efforts that they put in to mine them. So no need to be always at the using the latest technology, la, something that can work, can already, okay? Today, I hope you learned something like me. Bye-bye.
What happens to all these collected e-waste? Many steps will be involved. It's not just thrown into the incinerators, you know, or dumped, dumped into the dumping grounds. No, many things are going to happen. So they will be manually dismantled into smaller parts and then shredded, into uh, shredded with machines to further break down into even smaller parts. Then through various physical and chemical processes, there will be proper extractions of all these materials so that they will not be leaked. The extraction process also involves extracting of, of Earth's precious resources like gold, silver and copper so that they can be reused, they will be molded into pallets and reused then you will reduce the wastage. So what's going to happen? Going to do a recycling drive? Oh, I tell you, recycling is still the last R of all the five R's. What are they? Refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, recycle. Oh, good powder in my Just now. Busy with making roti prata, still got powder. Okay, okay. So, recycle is at the end. If your computers, tablets, laptops, or handphones are still in good working condition, just because they look, look a little bit old and, or it's an old model that you don't like, don't just jump, chuck, throw inside the e waste recycling bin. You should try and see if you can donate it to others. There may be some underprivileged people who can put them into good use or they can also export it to other countries. So don't just because there's an e-waste recycling drive in school, then you send all these things that are still working and put inside the bin. We will thank you for those, but it, de the, it defeats the purpose because they will just be broken down and wasted. Use them, prolong their life, donate them. Other people can still put them into good use. Okay lah. That's all.